Hello everyone, and welcome back to Neuroscience Methods 101. Today we're going to talk about neural network models. In our quest to understand the human brain, we often rely on recordings and interference methods. These methods are often non-invasive and limited in the conclusion that we can draw from them. Therefore, with the rise of computational power, recent years have seen an increase in the usage of computational models that aim to get a deeper understanding of how the brain works. One particular example is the use of neural network modeling. Computational neural networks are abstract and simplified models of neuronal networks in the brain. Their goal is to explain how a particular input to the model leads to a certain output. For example, when seeing images of cats and dogs, our brain, in most cases, can easily categorize them in their respective groups. In other words, our brain takes the input from our retina in the eyes and transforms it, after a number of steps, to a categorical output of being a cat or dog, and this we can communicate to others. Computational neural network models can do this too. And the way these models achieve this is not that much different from how it works in our brain. Computational neural networks consist of nodes and connections, which are reminiscent of neurons and synaptic connections in our brain. The nodes are organized into an input layer, where information comes in, one or more hidden layers, where information is transformed, and an output layer, where the final result is generated. Each node of one layer is connected to several other nodes in the next layer, or even all nodes in the next layer, meaning that the information in the hidden layers can be combined in various ways. Also, the nodes are connected with various connection strengths or weights. This is similar to real neurons having weaker or stronger connections. And indeed, the first neural networks were modeled after the brain's visual system. Now, information is passed through the network many times and each time the connection weights are updated. This is reminiscent of neuroplasticity in the brain during learning. Initially, all weights in the neural network are random and the answer that would come out would probably be nonsensical. Then, during the training of the model, examples for which the output is known are repeatedly presented to the network and the answers it gives are compared to the known outcomes. This information is then passed back through the network, which then gradually updates the weights of the connections. So over time, the model becomes more accurate in making predictions. To get a better understanding, let's have a look at our example of pictures of cats and dogs. Without training, a neural network model is unable to predict whether a picture is a cat or a dog. The outcome accuracy would be 50%. But, during training, particular patterns will be identified. For example, cats having whiskers, which dogs do not have, and that cats tend to have more pointy ears. The neural network will pick up on those patterns and the weights of the connections will be updated accordingly to highlight these patterns. Eventually, the network will be able to predict whether a picture is a cat or a dog based on the features it used to learn. So when presenting new images of cats and dogs, it should be able to identify which of the two animals it is. Obviously, these are relatively simple examples. However, neural networks have helped to explain various cognitive and neuroscientific behaviors, including oscillatory brain signals, emotion regulation and decision making. But the usefulness of neural networks is not limited to just explaining our brain. They can be used to find optimal parameters for a variety of artificial inputs. For example, search engines like Google use neural networks for image recognition or translation. And in the field of marketing, neural networks are used for sales forecasting and risk management. Anyway, that's it. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. If you did, consider leaving a like. And we hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.